Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we got a little speculative coin mining videos on Litecoin Finance. Let's see what it is about and of course how to mine it. See you in a bit. Hey guys, real quick before we go on, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell below. Got a couple videos coming out every week, some on speculative coin mining, others comparison of different miners, a um, little bit of trading, things of that nature, really anything in the cryptocurrency space. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, subscribe, notification bell, and hammer those likes, I would appreciate it. All right, so today's um, speculative coin mining video is on a CPU mineable coin only, Litecoin Finance. Here is their uh, Bitcoin talk. Um, again, all of these links will be down below, so don't worry about um, trying to find any of this info. So basically, this is just a hard fork of Litecoin. Um, Litecoin Finance is a fork of Litecoin, which is based on CPU mining to provide a free fork coins as an extra fund to every individual who hold the Litecoin as well as make the mining simple. So basically it seems like they're just forking to uh, be ASIC resistant and bring the mining of Litecoin finance to everyone who has a computer via their CPU. It's using the Yes script R32 slash R16. Uh, it's actually the R16 is what is uh, on the mining pool. But um, we've got a 94 million supply, a little bit on the higher end, but not too bad. Um, there it is, yes, script 32, but I'll show you in a sec. It's 16 on the mining pool, but anyways. So um, they got different, uh, you know, got, of course, got the links for the website, the wallets, and all that. Here is the website. What is Litecoin Finance? Litecoin Finance is a peer to peer internet currency that enables instant near zero cost payments to anyone in the world. Litecoin Finance is an open source global payment network that is fully decentralized without any central authorities. Mathematics secures the network and empowers individuals to control their own finances. Litecoin Finance features faster transaction confirmation times and improved storage efficiency than the leading math-based currency. Than the leading math-based currency. With substantial industry support, trade volume, and liquidity, Litecoin Finance is a proven medium of commerce, commerce complementary to Bitcoin. Um, I don't think it's quite uh, complementary to Bitcoin yet. Um, still growing as a project. But again, all these link, uh, links will be down below if you want to read through this all yourself and see what more about what Lite, Litecoin Finance is about. All right, so mining, we're gonna need wallets, and here is the link for their wallets. I just downloaded and went ahead and got the paper wallet, not really downloaded, I just created it. But you can go over here and get Windows, uh, Litecoin Finance Core 64-bit if you've got a Windows machine or Linux. Here's all the links, just to, depends on what machine you have. So paper wallet, I'll show you that real quick. Um, it's a pretty basic wallet. So you kind of just go around the screen like this with your cursor. And it, the more you do it, it'll keep going until it fully encrypts. And you can see that number counting down in the center. And there we go. So then you've got this and you can click print. It prints it to a PDF, at least in my case, I put it on my computer. But you will need this right here is going to be your wallet address that you're going to need of course for mining and then your secret key of course I'm not going to be using this so don't think you're going to be stealing my secret key from me on the video anyways let's pull up my NVIDIA rig where I have this mining on my Core i5 8600K CPU you can see it going right now um, approaching a thousand shares accepted and I think I'm like like one uh, pretty close to one kilohash right around in that area so let's minimize that. This computer, as usual, is laggy. So we've already got the wallet. So now we go over to 
we're going to need the miner, which is CPU miner OPT 3.9.01, released nine days ago, latest version of this. So you're going to click on this, download it to your computer, and in my case, the NVIDIA rig. I unzipped it and put it in this own folder called Litecoin Finance, as you can see. So you would go into here and you're going to open up a notepad file and you're going to paste this information in it once I get it pulled up. All this info, which again is right below this video, uh, the exact .bat file you're going to need right below this video. The only thing you're going to need to change is of course your wallet address right here and then dot your rig identifiers so whatever your computer name is you can name it whatever you want but this is my core i5 8600k cpu so that's what i named it you can leave this blank take out the period and leave it blank that's totally up to you but i like to kind of label the things and see what they are make sure they show up on the pool um, as far as the actual mining pool, I'm using the Zerg pool right there. We'll go back over to here. And right here on a mining pool stats, you can see they've got quite a few pools for this. Looks like there's only about six that have any kind of hash rate on it. And of course, there's probably a bunch of people, as you can see, uh, solo mining. 82% of the people solo mining. I haven't tried solo mining yet, but uh, I just wanted to give this a go and see how it would work. So once you've got that information and you've got it in a notepad file, you're going to click File, Save As, and for the purposes of this video, if it'll pull up, this rig's usually pretty laggy for whatever reason. I'm going to name it, you can name it um, whatever you guys want. Doesn't matter, just make sure it's in that minor folder. So I will call it Run1 dot bat make sure you put the dot bat so it's a windows batch file and click save so you can see we're on one and that should pop up in this fo uh, folder now there it is run one so let me pull this miner up again i think it's going to be this i'm up nope that is my actual cards in the background i'm mining ethereum classic on this as well so let me go here. And that should be it right there. So let me close this out. And then all you have to do, there's the file we just created, the run one, whatever you wanted to call it, just make sure it's a .bat. And you just double click on that file you just created and it should pull the miner up. This rig, like I said, is pretty laggy. We'll come back in a sec to see if it actually pulled up. In the meantime, the price Litecoin Finance 0 0.0023. Let me refresh, see if there was any kind of change. There's not too much volume on it. You can see it is $119 last 24 hours. Uh, 94 million supply. It is on three exchanges, so if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken. I think you can go over to the About Us and find us, I think. Let's go back over to the About. Maybe it's on the About one. I know it's on three exchanges. In any event, let's see if this pulled up. Nope. Let's see if we can pull it up here. It sh should be on your, yes. Crex and Corny Exchange right there are the two exchanges on. I could have swore it was on a third, but maybe not. Anyways, 0 0.0023. As far as the exchanges, go over back to the pool, and I've got, what, 20.12 coins so far. And I think I started at about 9 or 10 o'clock last night, so I still got about another five and a half six more hours and we'll see how many coins I get so let me go update my sheet 20.12 so about four cents that CPU usually does about um, eight cents a day eight to ten cents 
So that'll be pretty close to what it normally does. There's Litecoin Finance, 0 0.002. Let's go back over here. There we go. All right, so it is pulled up. It's got an accepted share. And, of course, you always want to go over to the pool. And even though it says Ellie Coin, I don't know why it says that. It must be an old port they were using. still has that symbol. But there it is, CPU. OPT 3.1 Core i5 8600K. There it is, 1.6 kilohash. But if you go up here, you can see Litecoin Finance, and that is what it should be. So 20.212, I'm guessing maybe I get 25, 26 type coins by the time it's all said and done. And that should push me at about anywhere from 5 to 6 cents. So that'll be close to what it normally does when I have it like on, you know, better hash or something like that. So, uh, I guess that's going to be, I guess that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, put it down below. I'll definitely get back to you. Um, again, hammer those likes. You still have time to enter Bitcoin Fridays. That video link should be uh, should have popped up here sometime during this video. Head over there, follow the instructions, watch that video all the way through, and. Uh, enter your inner for bitcoin fridays which again i will be drawing the winner tomorrow all right guys so i guess with that um that's going to be it for this one and i will see you in the next one take care bye